Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Blumada Banana and this is Empire Total War. Since we started the Empire series with uh, Medieval 2 Total War, I thought uh, let's just move on a bit in, um, you know, the timeline. Let's let the medieval times be behind us and go into a bit more sophisticated, into a bit more sophisticated warfare with muskets and, uh, you know, a bit, something a bit more well, I don't know, modern, maybe. Uh, it's a bit, a, a bit of a new installation. It's not the newest one. I think it's not the second to last one. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But uh, I think I'll play a grand campaign. Just your usual, um, well, the usual. Join, uh, choose your your faction. What you want to play. It's, uh, by the way, if you didn't know this game, it's like a turn-based game on the overview map and you can play battles in real time if you want to. So, there is of course Great Britain, uh, you can read the description if you want to, I don't really want to because I, I don't care. About Great Britain that is. <laughs> no offense though, but yeah. Of course we could play the French and as you can see, um, Great Britain starts with the British Isles and also a colony in America. Nothing in India though. Uh, you could play the French, which of course just starts with France and a bit more colonies over there. But um, you know who I'll play. Exactly. I'll play Austria. Uh, you can see that um, after the bloodletting of the last century, the 30 year, uh, 30 years war, that was pretty bloody, within the Holy Roman Empire, that's what we are playing currently in um, Medieval Total War, Austria is a leading power among, among the Germanese. So, I'll, I'll do that, I'll do that. We'll start with six regions, um, I like normal, I like normal, uh, let's see if there are any yeah, that's all right. Um, maybe I'll put the game limit down to 40 minutes, so it's not that long. We don't have any colonies though, but that's all right. And um, yeah, let's jump jump right to the campaign. By the way, I love the loading screen, uh, the uh, loading screen splash arts. They're awesome. They're really well made. Also, they're pretty good in uh, Rome 2. That's the last one that I've I've played. Although Rome peace has War. recently been brokered with your mortal enemies, the Ottoman Empire, it would be... How about... Shut up. Thank you. So, as you can see, the interface has a bit changed, uh, well, has changed a bit. Also, um, the... Well, well, the, the controls are a bit different. I can now use WASD to move around. Uh, on the previous game it was um, the arrow keys. Uh, also, as you can see, there are a bit more cities, less cities, uh, different cities, let's just say different cities on the map in this installation of the game. As you can see Aarhus is not anymore, is uh, not there anymore, we still uh, have, we now have Hannover instead of um, instead of Hamburg, that should be around here somewhere actually, but it's not there anymore. Uh, Cologne still there is, is new I think, um, it was Frankfurt in the last in, in in medieval. Uh, also, um, it's not Brussels and not Brugge and uh, Br Brugge, 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 whatever. Don't care. So, there are some different different things here and there, but nothing too minor, nothing too major. Okay, so let's jump into Your our first capital. city. Is the central city for control of a region? Empire Total War differs from previous Total War titles by having buildings spread throughout a region in towns and ports rather than being concentrated solely at its capital. Yeah, thank you. Uh, to be honest, I am a huge noob when it comes down to this game. I've only played it once, so please keep that in mind. I'm not, not by any means good at this game. Um, but as she just said, you, as you the see, you have... Farm will increase the growth of the population in a region. Yeah, thank you. As uh, the population as, as, level increases, I, uh, stop that. Grow into towns, enabling the construction of buildings for improving income. Okay, that should do it now. All right. So, as I just wanted uh, as I wanted to say, 
you now have, don't have your just your city. You also have these smaller. Facilitate the harvesting of underground resources. <sighs> really. Silver, iron, and precious. I know what mines do. Okay, so we have our town here. You could uh, build a college here. There's a school at the moment. You can build a college. If you build a college, you get access to some more this research. Is used to research new technologies that will enable your nation to gain advantage over its rivals. I I quit. To begin, simply select the item you wish to research. The presence of a gentleman or scholar will speed up the process. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the, another difference in um the advances in military thinking and the relevant research shut up. become available to many of your needs. Please, game, let me play. Okay, so the thing is you have now you now have a research tree. And uh, I think they did this in Shogun 2 as well. And I'm not sure if Shogun was before or after Empire, so um, yeah, I don't, I'm not, not hundred percent sure. So yeah, keep that in mind. All right, so we, there are three trees in the military tech. Uh, you can have like, um, you have this, you know, this, these are the firing squads, your standard infantry stuff. This is your cannons and artillery, and this is of course the navy or ships. You can also have. The second tree, which is more the industrial, is the industrial tree, as you, I just read off the tooltip. Um, some agricultural, your metal industry, your textile industry. I think these are just to make money. And the last thing is philosophy, and I think this is, um, yeah, you're actually boosting your research, which is actually this pretty interesting. Gives information about how a technology's effects work in the game along with a detailed description of its function. Some technologies are essential for constructing certain buildings, so it's worth reading all the information here and checking the building browser. Okay, so thank you. Once again, thank you, but okay, wh whatever, I, I give up. So as you can see, you can just click through and see what everybody, uh, everything does in a very detailed way. See, uh, you can it enables the building of the college, which I do think is a quite good idea at the beginning of the game because uh, speeding up your research is always quite interesting. Uh, well, bayonets also quite interesting. We can use bayonet, bayonet charges then. Uh, the square formation, well, it increases the upkeep cost. That's interesting. Well, if, if that's good, well then. Ring bayonets or better bayonets than these reduce the costs and stuff like that. But I I'm, I think I'll go with um, the empiricism because that leads to the college and I think the college is a good idea to have. Also, the next thing will be the the uh, social contract. Then we get more wealth. Also okay, but ten percent more technology technology research and yeah, let's let's do that. If this is a good decision, I don't know. We take uh, Johannes Des Despotovich, interesting name, and put him in uh, the college because we have now one gentleman researcher here. And as she said at the beginning, uh, gentlemen increase the, the speed of research. And my hand is pretty used to, well, muscle memory, you know, uh, of Empire, uh, well, Medieval Total War, and I'm still using the arrow keys even though I don't have to. This must be a priest. Yeah, it's a missionary. Well, that's good. Uh, we have a small army right here. And I do think that you can recruit units um, regionally. And you don't have to be in a city anymore. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. We have a fort over there. Also quite interesting. But I'm not 100% sure if we are at war with anyone. Now we are at peace with Poland. Which is also pretty nice. Uh, oh, Prague is mine. Let's see. Uh, what is the public order looking like? Negative influences. Yeah, the taxes, of course, for the nobles and um, the peasants. There are two stacks now. You have the nobles and uh, your standard, your citizens. Not really peasants, your citizens. 
You can, of course, just ex uh, exclude them from the taxes. That would also raise your, well, raise the, I'm not, I'm not sure, raise their happiness, I'd say. Okay, let's see. Spreslaw is also out of town. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I kind of have to find find my way around this a bit. I'm not 100% into this game anymore. As I said, I'm pretty well new to this game, but I'd like I'd like to play it. So Zagreb is a region capital. Yeah, interesting. The Ottomans, we're at peace with them. Let's see... Governor's Mansion or Military Encampment, not really needed here. Also... Why do we... why can we see Milan? Hmm. Not, not bad though. Yeah, that's right, we are allied with, I think, most of the uh, German... well kind of mini-states here. It's uh, Württemberg, of course. I do think we are also allied with Bavaria. Yeah, Munich, right here. And uh, also Saxony. No, we are at peace with Saxony, okay. Hmm. Let's have a look at everything then. Oh, Transylvania is also ours. That's interesting too. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll fortify there. Or infrastructure? Cobbled roads. Improves unit movement speed. That seems to be kind of interesting, seeing that we are quite quite far away from, um, you know, uh, reinforcements. You know, we have fort. No, we don't. Oh, there are units there, still. Upgraded here. That's a farm. Reduces region wealth. That sounds reasonable to me. Upgrading another farm, though. Hmm. Four, not really needed there. What can we build in well in the region of Breslau? That's a Browdy house. Oh, that's an inn and stuff like that. Okay, okay, interesting. Iron workshop. I think an iron workshop here, that sounds like something that we should we should definitely buy or build, seeing that it enables some um, research. So yeah, that, that sounds uh, that sounds really good. Okay, so Yeah, I know. What do we have in Prague? Okay, they have an army encampment which Enables to enables me to recruit carabiners. Carabiniers, I'm not sure. We could uh, get a cannon foundry, but I'm not really feeling it. Capable of militia, that was kind of obvious. An opera house, yeah, lower class and nobility, and it gets me wealth, but hmm, not really. Let's see what we can build in Vienna. An Imperial Palace, eh? Imperial Palace sounds like something I want to do. Canister shot. Okay. 12 pounder, I think. Demi cannon. A cannon. Good, good. Opera House. Admiralty. Why would I build an. An admiralty, admiralty in uh, in in Vienna. Seeing that we don't have, wait a second. Vienna has port. That's a huge region. Wow, Vienna has a well. I know that we had we once had a um, we by we uh, I talk about Austria, of course. Um, we had a port once. Now not so much, but still. Yeah, let's let's get some. Boats. Even though I don't don't think that's a re reasonable a reasonable decision. Seeing that, of course, boats. Yeah, sure. But uh, we only trade with um, the Italian states at the moment, 
and uh, that's not really worth it. I think land would, uh, well, land uh, trade would be the preferable part at the moment. Also, we made peace with the um, Ottomans, but um, I don't think that they like us very much. Oh, there's a rake. That's a spy guy. Let's have a look at... Oh, there's an army over there. Is this an army? Yeah, this is a fort. Uh, Alright, they have some line infantry here. Some in Belgrade and some in Sarajevo, I think. Oh, can't really tell. No, there, this fort, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Well, in that case, we might want to move him. Move this army down to there. And, uh. Might want to recruit some. Li nah, not really. Military governor, eh? What does this give us? All right, interesting. And what would can we use with the governor's mansion? I think this is more. Um, yeah, this is more of a. See, six percent tax income, and the other one only gives you three. So this is more the financial path, and this is the military path. And I, I think I'm good on the mil. I'm not good on the military. Yeah, I have barracks there. So I think I'll go for a governor's mansion here. Hmm, interesting, I, the cursor clips out of the of the game. don't like that. We have a quite, quite a feasible army right here, that's alright. I... Oh, that's an iron mine. Basic steam pump. Hmm. I'm sorry that it is that slow at the moment, but uh, I kind of have to get myself back into the game and see what I can do, what I really need to do, and stuff like that. That's that's a bit um That's a bit slow, I know, I know. So the line inf I don't know which units are good and uh which are kind of useless. Oh is this fixed artillery now? Interesting, interesting. So militia is has a range of seventy and a courtesy of twenty five. And the train has the same range, but it Reloads twice the speed, as the, it seems, and there's quite some more accuracy. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Trained. Well, if you're trained in something, you're usually better than someone who isn't trained in something. But still. Division of labor, commercial ports. Well, I just let's just uh, end the turn and see what's happening. Um, oh, they pay me for a trade? Wow, that's good actually. We have a lot of allies. We are allied with Württemberg, Bavaria, the United Provinces of the Netherlands, I guess. I'm not sure though. Uh, Westphalia, Savoy, and Great Britain. Oh, we are allied with Great Britain. I like that. And we don't have any any enemies at the current state. Well, in that case, sure, I'll take you 700 and I'll trade with you. I like that. Oh, I might have, sh I might should have put the, uh, yeah. Oh my god, I need to stop that. Oh, and, oh yeah, Pru uh, Prussia, 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 that's Prussia in German, but still, these, these guys are assholes. You need to take care of them pretty, sh pretty soonish. Must reject. Well, then... Go to hell. Okay, Poland... Wants to trade... Are they freaking kidding me? They want to trade... Three regions for one? How about no? Okay, I now know who's my enemy. I need to turn off, I need to turn off NPC turns.
If I can't do that now, great. If I can't, yeah, cheap CPU moves. Awesome. Because this just gets ridiculous. Yeah. It, oh, that's that's much better. That's much better. Okay, so it seems like we need to be kind of... Huh? Already cleared. Okay, well, you can fight as much as you want, as long as I don't have to fight for any one of you. Okay, so West Prussia, it belongs to Poland. And... Okay, this... We, we need to get critics back. That's, that's our... That's our first and foremost goal. The problem is that um, they're not in re. Oh, or we get Berlin. Berlin, that's it. We got. We're going for Berlin. Um, okay, you guys move over there. No, I want you to move in the other region because I think we have. Yeah, no, I think we have better recruitment options here. Gonna. Build barracks and a cannon foundry. Because Breslau is a bit smaller as you can see. And I'll recruit my units here and I'm gonna go for Berlin. Of course I'm gonna go for Berlin. Why wouldn't I? So the Catholic Catholicism 100%, 80%, 40%. Move over there. Thank you. I guess these guys can just stay over here and defend uh Klausenburg and be fine with that. Uh, yep, that sounds about right. We have 8k. That's also kind of good. What's our um, financial thingy looking like? I think I'm gonna go for a bit longer episode in the first one. So monarch is Leopold the first absolute monarchy. That's usually how it rule, uh, how you roll at this time. Prosperity is rich. We're majestic. That's good. Got a lot of tax income. Town watch doesn't cost us anything. The army upkeep it kind of um is it the same as the tax income? So we really need to upgrade our financial stuff. The mines need basic steam pumps to work. So let's see about the research and technology we need for that. Basics unavailable. What do I need for that? Enables the building off. Yeah, that's that's something. Oh, I need an iron workshop for that. Okay, that seems seems reasonable. But I did upgrade these guys to that, right? Yeah, basic. Cool. So in two turns I can switch up our research. That's great. I like that. I'm kind of getting back into this game though. Mm, no. No, definitely not. No. Sorry. Not gonna do that. You're not getting military access to, to my... No, Poland. Get out of here. Sorry, pull into Litua 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 blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, butchering names. Not trying to offend anyone, I can't, I just can't talk. I can't read anyway, so. Emigration due to starvation, where? Okay. The nobility likes... Blah, 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 blah. Interesting. I don't like that they don't... Um, focus on on the unit that's has this. Who is this? Got a mistress, Theodore from. Oh, I guess that's one of the council members or something. I knew that. I know that there is something like that. Lists maybe. Fleets, regions, agents. Hmm. Government maybe. Politics, ministers. Yeah, maybe someone over here. Not not this guy, not this guy. This guy, yeah. That was the that was the one. You can swap out these uh ministers if you want to. So for example if I think that um what is his name? Karl Feuerbach. Who has plus one management and plus happiness for the lower uh, for the lower classes and he has plus one happiness for the lower classes, one have minus one for nobility. Um and he has quite some management skills, he's quite young. If I think that um He's better than 
What's it called? Philip von Sinzendorf. Then uh, I could swap them out. But he's kind of good. He's kind of good. Plus, he has management skills. I like that. He has some religious... Eh. Really, the treasury guy. That's a bad one. Harsh reputation plus my management plus my minus one plus one. Yeah, I don't like I don't want him to be pious. Industrial revolutionary. Plus one in management, eh? Yeah, he's also pious. He's a tactician. And he's just a blank guy. So let's take Tobias Schindler and put him as the new treasury guy. Don't know if this was a good decision or not, but anyways, I don't care. I do that. So yeah, I know what I kind of know what this should, well, what I should do. I kind of know it. I really don't really know it, but I kind of know what to do. Okay, I kind of let's say it's a sacker. Firepower twenty one, range four hundred, thirty eight four hundred, and more accuracy on the demi cannon or demi cannon. I'm not sure. Obsolete, demi cannon, dangerous weapons, fiery ball with a nominal weight of 24 pounds. Large caliber, large weapons. Nah. Not feeling it. Maybe I'll get two line infantry though. I don't like cavalry. I, I never liked cavalry anywhere. But we have a migration. Captain Kidd. Oh yeah, William Kidd, that's a pirate. Uh, let's. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Let's see if we can trade with someone. We could trade with the Italian states and they like uh, they like us, so... Oh, we're already trading. Well, okay. We could trade with Saxony. Mm, yeah, sure, why not? Well, but they don't like us at all. Don't know why, but they don't... Well, still, let's try. Request a trade agreement. It's a proposal. Mm, no. Not really. So, go to hell. Not gonna pay for that. Can we trade with... Yeah, the French are unfriendly. Tell me something new. Uh, Ottoman Empire. We, we're, we're at war with them. I don't know if they want to trade with us. I don't think so. Prussia. They don't like us, so they... Well, not really. We don't have a... We can't establish a trade route there, so, well, sucks. I do think we have to, we have to get Berlin and we're going, we will be going from there. We might even go for uh, Königsberg then, but uh, that means we have to go through Poland. I'm not sure if we can. We have a lot of cash, so I want to spend it. Let's build a farm here. Why not? We can't improve the farm. Can't improve the farm. Cannot improve the college. I want... I kind of want to improve the mines. Actually, yeah, why not? Let's let's get 2k for the weaver. Uh, these, this is not our region, I guess. Doesn't look like it. Oh, this is... Oh, it's an inn. Come on. Do it. Give me some more. Can't improve the... Okay, that's that's something that I really need to take care of. Need to improve the... The research on um, our... What? War declared. Oh, yeah, that was obvious. Do I want to call my allies? Hmm. Nah. Okay. Well, if they want to fight, I'm gonna bring it to them. I'm not, not opposed to that. Even though they have an army right here. I didn't see that one. Yeah, that starts, that starts out pretty interesting. Management for justice and... Markus Lichtenberg. Of course. Let's see who that is. There he is, Markus Lichtenberg. Nice, pious, damn it. 
He is a mistress. All right. Minus three for hmm. Stats quo, but he's honest. Let's keep it there. Whatever. And let's see. We need to improve this army right here. These two are moving over to this four, or fort. And sure. Okay, they have some infantry over there. Now nah, move over to there. Um, also, let's get. Now let's leave the cannons right here. Militia. Can we take them? Nah, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. But still, it's interesting that Poland declared on us. I kind of wanted to take Berlin though. Gotta upgrade these guys. We now have the opportunity. Yeah, one turn left for the college. That's great, and um, gotta I've gotta recruit. That's it. So what's better, demi cannon or a sacker? Oops. Yeah, definitely the demi cannon. So let's get two cannons and one light infantry. Oh no, maybe let's get one cannon and two light infantries. That sounds about right. Still have to wait until I can upgrade anything. Okay. And um yeah, I guess I guess that's that's it for um for this episode. I hope I, I I hope you like that. I'm actually kind of recording this in well, in advance because uh you know, in summertime sometimes something happens like uh you know, vacations and uh having to house sit for your parents, house and cat sit actually. And uh you know, that's that's something that I, I kind of want to circumvent that I don't have any episodes left. So, yeah, I, I hope you like that. And um, I certainly am looking forward to our journey through Empire Total War. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you next time. And as always, Auf Wiedersehen.